It's not jumping all over the place. If you don't have a centrifuge already, check out BigBoneBulldogs.com. Shots fired at the Bulldog Farm. Never a dull moment over here. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to collect semen from your mail, and I'm going to show you on Big Drago here. It's going to make it a lot easier than showing you on a little Frenchie. Then I'm going to share with you a technique that will guarantee a more successful breeder. And it's techniques like this that make you into an advanced breeder. And that's why I launched the Advanced Breeders Network. Check out the link in the description. We're elevating each other and raising the standards in breeding. Right now, we're doing a crazy deal on the ABN Pro Breeder Bundle. Check it out. The ABN Pro Breeder Bundle will give you access to our virtual whelping guide, our puppy medical guide, and give you the opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with one of our expert breeders. But that's not it. You even receive $175 in breeder supplies so you're prepared for that next litter. This is a limited time opportunity, so don't miss out. All right, so Big Drago has never been collected, and I've never collected a Corso before. But Drago needs to be collected. So, here we go. You're a big boy. Drago, get up. Drago, come on. Pantera. I know, I'm an asshole for this, huh, Drago? All right, I think that's enough. No. All right, put that away. Put that thing away. Very large collection. That's all you, boy. Oh, boy. So I didn't completely explain the process, but I want to show you. You see this big gland? See that large ball of a gland? That is what you're grabbing. So when you pull the dog, you're going for that. And you're literally just going to squeeze it, and it's going to swell up. And as it swells up, you know you're doing your job. You know he's into it. And then you're going to help the tip come out of the sheath, I believe it's called. You're going to help that come out the front as you're grabbing that bulb. And then you're going to just, sometimes you got to give it a little motion. A lot of dogs, you don't have to do anything. And then the process will start. It's very important afterwards. You watch your dog, and you want to protect this. His penis is now exposed and can get injured very easily. Um, if he was a bulldog, like this is way, a, a way bigger deal with bulldogs, right? Because they're short and they're down here. So luckily with the big dogs, it's not a, as big of a deal, but this is a good way. See, he's already going back in. That's good. So that's what you want to do. You want to get, you want to get them back in as quick as possible. Sometimes you mess with them, scare them, you know, um, scare them, make them uncomfortable. People have their different tricks for getting them to go back in, but now he's back in, he's protected, we're good to go. All right, so we just pulled Big Drago for the first time. Gave us a big old collection here. Yeah, you did, boy, that's you. Actually, let's do a couple of different things. First, let's just take a little bit of this. Let's do a little bit of that. We're gonna do a couple different things here. <laughs> Drago gave us a full. We got, we got 15 cc's here, big Drago. I'm not gonna be able to. So 
it's wanting to get away from me because I don't have it in there even. Let me see. My, my vial on the other side isn't as big, so I can't equal it out. Right, let me go inside and see what right. I got. So the reason why the centrifuge was jumping all around is because it wasn't evened. I didn't have a proper container to even it out. It has to both weigh the same on each side, otherwise it's going to do that. So now, let's put it in. We're going to set it to just over 1500 RPMs for two minutes. Now it's not jumping all over the place. If you don't have a centrifuge already, check out BigBoneBulldogs.com. Well, I know gunshots, and that was gunshots. So I gotta go check my cameras and see what that was. All right, we're gonna spin it for two minutes at just over 1500 RPMs. You never wanna exceed 1800 RPMs or two minutes. Every click is about 500 RPMs and the switch at, is at just a little bit over. I don't know if the switch is off and that really means 1500 or if it means a little over 1500, but that's where I'm gonna run it for two minutes. If you don't already have a centrifuge, you can get one on bigbonebulldogs.com. These are the ones that I carry. They're very inexpensive and very effective. You're able to concentrate your sample by using a centrifuge. You saw that we put in 15 cc's of semen that we collected. We're now gonna spin that for the next two minutes and we're gonna get a pellet. We're gonna get a pellet of condensed semen at the bottom. And that's only gonna be however big. And that's all your semen. Everything else is just prostatic fluid. So it allows you to get rid of a bunch of that prostatic fluid that's not needed because when you put the semen in the dog, the body can only absorb so much. So you only want to put in as much that can get absorbed so that you have the most, the highest sperm count. Make sense? So what I'm doing here, we're just going to spin it down, show you the pellet, and then we'll put that concentrated sample under the microscope. And now my neighbors call me about those gunshots, bro. Hey, Al, what's going on? That's what I was, I saw you out there. What, what was that? Did you just catch it? Was it, was it, a, was it a car or was it just the noise? Yeah, it sounded like gunshots to me, but there was no, so no car came and did it? So there was no car for sure? Huh. Yeah, I heard it and the dogs ran in here to the garage and then I kind of went around and got up to the fence and I saw you looking at your garage and I didn't see anything either. But that damn sure sounded like gunshots right in the cul-de-sac, didn't it? <laughs> it sounded right there, That's, yeah. My dog, I had the, you said what? Really? I've, fi I've fired back on my side over here in between me and the wolf like a couple weeks ago, but that's the only time I've fired and that was a couple weeks ago and that was out over, you would have heard that from like more behind your house. That's the first time I've heard that. That was weird. And like the, I had the course, so I had the garage, my, I'm, in the, I'm in the kennel right now working. Interesting. All right, well I'm gonna keep my eyes out. I don't know what the hell that was. All right, Al. See you. Never a quiet day at the Bulldog Farm. All right. We got our pellet. So you see that? This is our semen. All this is just prostatic fluid. So that's just the semen. Let's Check that out. Now look at it. So what do you think? It probably looks about the same on the microscope, but 
in the big picture of how much you're, in, you're doing your insemination with. So it might not look like a big difference on here, but when you're doing that insemination, the difference of having two or three mLs with all the semen in it compared to just pulling out three mLs out of the 15 or shooting all that in there and really thinking it's going to absorb, it's not. Most of that's just going to come back out. So you're giving a much more concentrated sample when you use a centrifuge and you spin down your collections. Also, if you're shipping out semen and you want to be the best stud owner, give the best service possible, it's best to do your collection, spin down your sample, get your pellet, come back, take all the prostatic prostatic fluid out, suck it out, suck it out off the top. Suck that prostatic fluid out off the top, then take your semen extender, add however much semen extender for your collection. However, you're gonna use a certain amount. It's a ratio that you use with the semen extender, so how much you put in is gonna depend on how much your collection was. But you're gonna pull out that prostatic fluid off the top, leave your pellet with a small amount of prostatic fluid, if any, and then you're going to add your extender. Then you're going to ship it out. And your sample is going to do much better that way. Also, when doing inseminations, on my website, I sell the best semen extender in the world. And you're starting to really find out. It's really starting to um, catch traction now in the States. It's from Europe. It's called Hoke. And there's also a semen enhancer that they sell. So what you would do, you would take your collection, spin it down to your pellet, pull the prostatic fluid out, then you would add some of this semen enhancer, then you would do your AI with that. And it's like a caffeine boost, and it, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna give food and energy, pretty much, the easiest way I can explain it. You're gonna give the semen more food to live longer, and you're gonna give it more energy to be active and try to fertilize the egg. So I hope I showed you some things. I hope you guys learned some new tricks. I hope you just leveled up as an advanced breeder. If I did bring you value, make sure you hit that like button for me. Drop some comments. If there's anything I missed, hit the comments. Let me know. I want to help you guys. I want to make sure you have a full understanding. Um, I'm not the best with my terminology sometimes, but I try to hopefully say it in a way you guys can understand. So I hope you understood. If there's anything you didn't, hit me up in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.